estate is super property on Clancro Street. It's a four bedroom, um, traditional mid terrace property. Laid out over three floors. Very spacious inside. Very deceptive from the outside, funnily enough. When you go around the rear, you'll, you'll see what I mean. This property has the added benefit of really good sized parking space for the rear and a really good sized rear courtyard garden. It's literally um, just a couple of minutes walk from Port Gooden Beach, Portmere Beach and right in the centre of St Ives. Currently used as a very, very successful holiday let. I love it, I think it's one of the nicest ones I've seen down here. I could certainly live in it as well. It's one of those properties that uh, just uh, is quite versatile really. But it's a super, super place. So that's the, the front view. So it's over three floors. We've got the lounge, diner, kitchen on the first floor. Um, two bedrooms, bathroom on the first floor and up on the second floor, we've got another two further bedrooms with some nice sea views from the rear too. So I'll just take you around the rear and show you the, uh, the parking and the, the garden space. Just gone around the back of the property, just give you a sense of direction really and as to where we are in St Ives. Uh, that's Port Gwyddon Beach down here. So that's the sign to Port Gwyddon. You take the road down there, that takes you to Port Gwyddon Beach. And to our left then is uh, the access down to Portmere Beach. And this is Borough Road. And so you've got this access lane just off the right of Borough Road. Which leads you up to the rear of the property, which you can see from here. So where the silver car is parked is actually the parking space. And inside that is the courtyard garden, which I'll show you. So we're in the lounge area, as you can see. Uh, super room, got this lovely exposed granite wall, got the multi fuel burner there. On set that half, we've got the window to the front, sash window to the front with the window seat, beam ceilings. We have this lovely slate tile flooring. Really lovely size. That's what makes it very deceptive from the outside, this property. Got the recesses there with the shelving, space for a large dining table. Another seating area here. to the kitchen. Again, we've got this continuation of the slate flooring. Uh, there is underfloor heating in here as well, which uh, keeps your feet nice and warm. Plenty of worktop space with the, with the oak, the gas hob, electric oven, microwave. There's an integrated dishwasher. And washing machine dryer. We've got the butler sink unit. Windows to the rear, overlooking the garden. And to our right here, we have a small WC, which is accessed directly from the back door. So, it's all in here. And then to the rear, you'll have to excuse us because we're working around the cleaners here at the moment. It's a very quick turnover on a Friday for the next people coming in. So, as I said, we're doing our video here while the cleaners are here as well. Good size rear yard, as you can see. We have a little shower here on our right hand side. This will be really sunny in the afternoon, actually. I think from probably about one o'clock in the summer, the sun will be streaming in here. It sets over in the west over that way, which is the far end of Portmere. But if you wanted barbecues, just a couple of sun lounges, they've just got their table and chairs out there. It's uh, an amazing size little rear yard with the parking too. If you wanted more parking, obviously, you could take away this rear yard and put some more parking in. But I think having the one parking space and this really good sized courtyard is a real benefit of this property. And so please excuse the the clean equipment so we have to do this rather quickly working between the the cleaner and the changeover i'll take you upstairs now so we're coming from the lounge into the entrance hall. so there's the front door which uh, leads from Concro street into this hallway here and to our right then is the door that we've come through which is in the uh, the lounge and the dining room and into the kitchen on the ground floor there's a radiation here and we've got these uh, steps leading up to the first floor. Into this landing space. It's up here, we've got two bedrooms. We've got a big double there, another double there, which set out as a twin, which we'll go into, and the, uh, and the, the, the shower room in here, which we'll show you in a second. 
Nice size landing, these lovely wide, as you can see on the floor, sorry, these lovely wide floorboards, all original. There's a small built-in cupboard here on the left-hand side for a bit of storage, and the stairs that go up to the two further rooms. Just talking this back bedroom first, great size double. Again, these lovely beam ceilings. As you can see, we've got the wide wood flooring, two great window seats, nice and bright and light, this cottage. One of the things really noticeable is how bright it is. Got these two windows to the, to the rear. That one looks up onto the island, up onto the chapel. Radiator, super room. Here's the front bedroom. It's currently laid out with a set of twin beds. Got this nice window seat again, window to the front, nice and bright and light again, radiator, and a small built-in wardrobe there to our left-hand side. We've got these really nice floorboards and the, the beam ceilings. to the shower room. Large walk-in shower cubicle, all fully tiled. Got mains connected shower with a detachable shower head and a rainfall head above. WC. Sink unit and the stainless steel heated towel rail. Let's take you upstairs to the two other bedrooms. Quite a decent staircase up, it's not too steep and wide enough to get furniture up. To our left, as we go in, is another super-sized double. We've got a large queen-size bed in here. Two radiators. Plenty of space, as you can see there, for wardrobe on our left-hand side. And if you need chests of drawers, again, we've got space around here for that. Got these two windows to the rear of the property. I'll show you, and that gives you an idea of proximity as to how close we are. That is St. Nicholas Chapel up on the island. We've got the Coast Guard lookout there, and then just to our right, then we've got the uh, views down onto Port Gwyn and up towards the island, and Port Me on the left hand side. So we are close to everything here. That's the chapel. It's looking down into the car parking area and the outside space that we've seen. And finally, up here we've got the fourth bedroom. Slightly restricted headroom, but not bad. Um, just one part of the eaves. We've got these lovely, though, exposed beams. Look all original. And that nice wood panelling at the back there. There is radiation here, ample power points. These really nice wide wood floorboards. And that's a view to the, to the front overlooking the front of Concrow Street. Again, it's nice and bright and light. So if I give you a quick recap on stand up here, this is, I think, one of the best properties I've been into in the down long area of St. Ives. Four bedrooms, four good bedrooms, I'd say four double bedrooms, with the exception perhaps of the small room to our right there, which is certainly big enough for a set of twins. We've got the added benefit of that amazing parking space this close to Portmere and Porth Gwyn, and we've got that outside space as well, which you can come into, put the barbecues up, it's all slate floored. We've got the outside shower, downstairs, lovely living accommodation nice kitchen got that big lounge dining room lots of nice features in there You've got the exposed granite the beam ceilings it's an absolutely super property this absolutely super closer i think and certainly worth a look at For more information, please give us a call. 
and we'd be more than happy to help you. Viewings obviously are restricted to changeover days here, which are Friday. So any viewings that we do arrange will need to be on that Friday, generally between 11 o'clock and 2.30, 3 o'clock. Just to give everybody the heads up. Thank you very much.